What do you have to say, whether they was kids or young adults? Some of them niggas was texting their moms pictures of the mac and cheese. That shit looked like some soup mac so and told, cheese. So I told you some before. Wait, wait, serious. It looked yeah, flagrant. It looked crazy. Them yeah. kids said the one they one picture. No, no, not, not multiple pictures. Not multiple. Not multiple it pictures. It was one picture. It was, it was one picture, and it was before it gets put in. It was quiche before it gets put in to be cooked. But I'm not even going to talk about that because I told you about foul, that. Though. It did look foul. Did and you eat it? Listen, hold on a second. No, we're going to get to the joke. We're going to get to the joking part. We're going to get to the off. Yeah, we're going to talk about the first part of it, and then we'll go back to if I ate it or not. So uh, we had two people that uh, spent their time. One of them is named Maisha, and uh, she had a heart disease, and she passed. And mm -hmm. she was going through that while Condolence. cooking. And the second one, and I don't want to put her business out there, she uh, was going fighting cancer. So okay. she, was go, she would go to chemo and then come back and cook for these niggas. So I'm not going to sit up here and let these niggas put one picture on there, say, what the fuck was we eating and that crazy when these niggas was eating all the time. See, one joke, I'm hustling chickens. Another joke, these niggas ain't eating. So you can't have hopes. The chicken, the chicken, 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 chicken scam was, was great. Good. That was Thank good. you. I appreciate I like that. that. I like yeah, that. That was good. Yeah, that was give me my props when I deserve it because that did a lot of fucked it, up shit, but that ain't it. It's going to sound inconsiderate, but if I'm a kid playing sports for the school, kind of. Mm -hmm. There's no kind of. You're playing for an organization that provided you an and academic there, opportunity it, that was registered and certified by the state of Ohio. And you want to get any <laughs> further, why well, I got to cut you off on this. The program that we use is called Graduation Alliance. Graduation is a great, 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 great system. If you go on to the Ohio Department of Education, they just signed a contract with, guess what? Graduation Alliance. Thank you. You're welcome. Speak so if I didn't have a school and my program wasn't legit, how did the state of Ohio turn around and then sign a contract with the same company that we were using for education. Now you can have a school. If you had a school that was, and it was legit. My what, school was legit. Why what, you keep saying it's not legit, bro? I can't let you say that. Okay, I'm sorry. I take it back. The what, documentary what do said you it was legit. What do you have to say to Youth mm -hmm. Build? Yeah, when they stepped up, when Youth Build came out and said, hey, <laughs> we are not in any association with anything Coach Roy is doing, his team, or any of that shit. And Did, Youth Build, they said, was the academic arm of... Yeah, for our second year, Youth Build was the academic arm for our... Uh, youth so Build so. on the dock said, nah, we don't fuck with that nigga. Yeah, that's obviously not true. If I was sending 45 kids to their school, what do you think I was just sending them there for fun? Like I said, they can't prove that. I can prove that our kids were going to Youth Build. Because guess what? They went into the building and went to Youth Build. So what do you think about the kids saying that they was hungry? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm hungry too. Yo, man. coach, chill out, man. I'm hungry. Stop that shit, man. Stop. Enough. I'm hungry. Enough, hey, nigga. Enough. Yeah. I don't know who they nah, thought they was nah, playing with. Yo, no time for this nigga, man. Yeah, what are you talking I'm about? Hungry I'm hungry too, though. I'm hungry I'm too. Hungry. We all hungry, but you no, can't say that. I just told you. I just the niggas told you that was hungry, what do you say to them? <laughs> the niggas that was hungry? The kids that said they were hungry, what do you say to them? I'm hungry too. We hungry together. I feel what you feel. It's called empathy. I empathize with you. Uh, he's got oh, Joe empathy. Shit, he's, an empath. <laughs> he's an empath. <laughs> he's empath. Okay. I empathize with you. Would you know why I empathize with you? I empathize with you that you can't eat. I empathize that you're hungry. I empathize that you're hungry on the football field. I empathize that you're hungry for a parent's love and everything else because your parents wasn't shit, and that's why you're here. Oh, shit. God, and that's the part that y'all don't want to talk about because you think that people are going to say this or say that, and that's what you guys thought when you saw the documentary. Well, well when you say that you want to help underserved kids, yep. you can't then turn around and say your parents ain't shit. <laughs> that's yeah. why, no, but that's the you truth. took advantage of those parents. Nigga, How by, did I take advantage of parents? By dude? letting them know that you're going to help their kids. Now you're saying their parents ain't shit. You oh. came in as a savior. Yeah, what are oh, you talking right. about? But so if you what? acknowledge their parents ain't shit and then you can't I feed can't the what? motherfuckers you ain't shit too nigga. Yeah but you saying Yo, I didn't feed them And that's not true And that's not true And then you're not talking about The kids that are in college right now So the program's not gonna help everybody Not everybody's there gonna go. be helped By the program okay. So what you're saying is Your parents ain't shit That's why you're here And there's some kids here Where their parents are participating And helping And their parents are shit And they gonna spread their love to you too so that's why some of you guys Are now playing college football Some of you are going for it And like I said There's one kid who is paralyzed Don't And you. can't stand up And we can call him anytime you want and he'll say the same thing. There's a kid named Josh Bogan, Jeremy Naborn. I can give you these names of these people that you can go and research and they'll tell you like, yo, that was my experience. The experience was for a select few and what their truth was and they put that out there and that's okay. That's what they said, there's truth. I'm telling what did happen and Listen, didn't happen. I, went to, a few Let summer, me ask you a I went to a few summer camps and if the lady that was undergoing chemo was making my ham and cheese, I would have had something to say too. No, bigger than that. Let me I'd ask you a question. But, but, she, was, you a but question. she wasn't making ham and cheese. She was making different meals and stuff like that. It wasn't the point that she was making ham but and you cheese. But you brought the fact that she was sick to, to say what? Like, 
That she, she might, might, she might have lacked. gonna let them she, kick her back yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not, yeah, oh, I'm that, not, oh, that. So I'm not, not gonna let them dog not, me. Not, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Didn't, didn't not you fact, might not have liked it. Not the fact that she was sick and she couldn't cook properly at the moment. No, no, you're no, just no, saying no, that. No. So that's not yeah, what you're yeah, saying. You're just saying that you're not gonna let them play. Do you do you think that some of them kids on that dock was liars? I am not going to call somebody a liar. All I'm just going to say is that the stuff that they said happened in some of those situations from what your version would actually like. happen. Now I'm not considering because now they now these people are saying that they have mental health issues and all oh, these other shit. issues. Right? Oh, they're trying oh, to get so they, oh, they're the trying buzzword, to get you. buzzword. Yeah. You got mental you. issues. So the, fat you. Nigga, the fat nigga that's up there, one the one that want to be oh, a rapper. Shit, the fat nigga. Yo, 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 no, yo. Yeah, the fat nigga that want to be want to be the rapper or is the rapper? Excuse me. So, so he is a rapper. This dude was up with us for a total of three weeks. So he was with us in three weeks. And in that three weeks, he all of a sudden now is homeless, has to do fundraising because of that, and now has mental health issues because he spent three weeks with us. And then you know what the kicker of all this is? He wasn't even at the IMG game. No, Joe Biden.